morning guys and girls uh, firstly always thank you for watching ASFN Fishing and for supporting us especially if you've subscribed if you haven't please subscribe now we out on Cabo Yost this is such an exciting time of the year when when the fish becomes alive again in essence it's just the conditions the weather everything changes and it brings in some of our summer fish this time of the year Gary Cobb uh, there's a frenzy about that normally you'll see all the people down the beach here and there's been some quite a few big big cob up to 40 kilos in the last four or five days here uh, as you will see in the screenshots i'm putting up right now so let's get started we're gonna we're gonna target cob now so i've set up a, a sliding i dusted it off out of the archives my sliding rod with my multiplier and i've put a 0.75 liter on and i'm just putting a 0.7 sinker line on here and I'm going to put it, unfortunately the tide is sucking back, it's already two hours back. I'm going to put it in the back there on the side of the bank. And we're going to put a live mullet which we've been netting this morning. And uh, I'm going to use a non-return for this. It is a sucking tide so it will take it all the way back. I can actually use a normal Garrick slide if you, if you know what I mean, a return slide. But this one we'll put in the back there and uh, hope for the best. Hope for one of those big cop to take Hey, Skelly, you guys are late, man. What's wrong with you? See what time they get, eh? Ooh, the late sleepers, the uh, slumbers. The ones with the, with the little baby that they have to. <laughs> See, I always got an excuse as well. You, you also have a baby now, don't you? <laughs> or are you the baby? <laughs> I'm joking. Alright, guys, so that's the mission. Uh, Michael got some, they got, Michael and Stephen got eight Gary Kiss today in this vicinity all the way back but uh, I want to try and get a cop there is a, the reason I'm fishing this spot it's a deep trough with the water sucking back we'll still have water on low tide and they're just full of mullet this whole gutter is black with mullet every now and again so they'll hang around here with the tide sucking back they can't go very far and we'll just put some mullet behind them and see if we uh, a live mullet behind them and see if we can get a a good copy on i'm happy with anything over three kilos man but this a nice 20 30 kilo will be great this is exactly where we fish exactly exactly right yeah. well, okay the 20 kilo cop that came out that's awesome. 20 kilo cop came here yesterday i didn't know that uh the cameraman told me it was due but he didn't tell me about the cop he said uh gary chases on the lure no, no, we saw the cop on the trolley on the way back <laughs> <laughs> now i'm just teasing you but yeah guys, so always exciting fishing this this coastline this time of year when you know there are some seriously big cob lurking all around the banks here feeding on the bullets of mullet. Now this is our last gap. The southwest is coming through with a with a pace a bit later today. And uh, we've had a lot of east, nice cool water, that's why the mullet's there. The west will just we're gonna struggle to get mullet after today. Um, so it's our best, best chance this week to get a good cop. Okay guys, I made some this morning early quickly when I woke up at 4. And this is just a non-return. I've got an 8 toe ring saw in the back. For cop, you always want the second hook at the back. For Garrick, you can get away just with a circle in front. Uh, that carries the bait by the head. But uh, with a cob, they like to take it from behind. Garrick takes it from the head. All right, simple, 0.75. I'm not going very thick. Um, I want to ask Garrick to pick it up as well. These swivels. With your cable tie, you just make it sharp. Lively mullet, wet my hand a bit. Now you, you want to try and not damage your mullet too much. And there's a lot of different ways the guys are using bait needles with bridle with the braid. I'm just gonna opt for the swivel like that. I'm going to put 
go to my hook, carry hook. You can actually just hook it through like that. He's on the swivel and then what I'll do is I'll just secure it with a smaller cable tie. I'm just going to put the, the back hook This real needs a service, shame, it's been working hard. It feels like quite a nice one, but it might also be foul. So. Alright guys, that was first cast on the bucktail. Nice little eerie. See that, uh, that lure is working so well. The pink one and a half ounce from Fishman. Small leery, but you can see it's quite strong here with this current and everything. That thing hit. That thing hit just, just here in the lock, so. Yeah. Okay, can you hold that for me for one second? It's just a great fish. Stunning, eh? So many of these young garricks around. They're small, but yes, it's fat. It's quite heavy. It's been trying mullets all day. Let's bring a little bit of shimmer and shine back. Just discussing how the colors, we don't feel that the colors should make as much of a difference, but this pink one is dead. Small areas, but you're in this, this current and this dump is strong. It's like a one kilo fish, but it's fighting like a thing. <laughs> size actually, I thought it was smaller, but Shane, you can see his file look at the top. I actually want to get a measurement of this one quick, so I'm just going to run. 68 rough. Right? right, it's getting back, Shane. Oh, still strong. I 
Derek? I can't believe that live is just sitting so long.